Hello, this is Mr. Molo for lesson 5-6, slope intercept form. All right, so this is kind of a big part of 8th grade, 9th grade, 11th grade math. So we are graphing um, probably the most popular way to graph using slope, slope intercept form. Um, so this is kind of building up with everything we've did when we talk about intercepts, when we talk about slopes, all pretty much come together to graph in slope intercept form. So our big part of today is graphing when we know the intercept and we know the slope. So let's say, for example, here's our graph right here. And let's say that, you know, we're kind of having our line right down the middle. So that's our 0, 0 there. So let's draw that line there. And so if my y-intercept is going to be 4 here, that means I'm going to have a dot that is up 4. So it's always on the y line. It's either going to be, if it's positive, it's going to be up. If it's negative, it's going to be down. So this one is up 4, and my slope is negative 2, 5, which means I'm going to be going down 2 from my y-intercept, so from that 4 spot, down 2, and to the right 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to put a dot there. This is going to be my line. This is going to be how I'm going to graph. So then I connect these two dots, uh, probably like about there, and that's going to be my line. If Mr. Mello could draw a straight line, it'd be look a lot better. Something like that. Okay, so that's how I'm going to be graphing from now on. Same thing here. So my y-intercept is a negative 3. So 1, two, three down, and now my slope is four, but rem remember it always has to be a fraction, so it's really four over one. So this means I'm going to be going up four, so one, two, three, four, and right one, so I'm going to have a dot there. I could do this again and again if I wanted to, and it'd still be on that same line. So one, two, three, four, and right one. 1, 2, 3, 4, right 1. Usually I like to do it at least two times, so I kind of get a better idea of how high or how steep my slope is going to be. So this one has a y-intercept of negative 5, so down 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And again, my slope is 2, so which means it's going to be 2 over 1. So up 2 and right one, up two, right one, up two, right one. Some of you math lab kids, I know Miss Limberg did this already, so you might already know kind of how to do this. This is what it's going to look like. All right, last one we'll do like this. So y-intercept of one, so I'm going to put a dot there, and then a slope of negative two, three. So down two, and right three. Same thing, down two and write 3. Now I'm going to connect those and that's going to be my line. Alright, so our formula for this is y equals mx plus b. And it says right here b is the y-intercept and m is the slope. I know kind of weird letters because m, you know, slope doesn't start with m and there's no b in the word y-intercept but that's kind of just how it is. So m is the slope and B is the y-intercept. <coughs> the other part of today's lesson is going to be finding the other, um, the y-intercept when I have the slope. So when I have something um, like this, what is my y-intercept going to be? And remember, I'm looking at y equals mx plus B. So I know my m is 2, because that's my slope, and it gives me two points instead. So there's my x, there's my y. So I'm left with 4 equals 2, because that's my m, and 3, because that's my slope, plus my b. So I don't know what my b is, but I'm going to solve for it right here. So then 4 equals 4 times, or 2 times 3 is 6, plus b, and then I want to get that b by itself, so I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. So if I subtract 6, subtract 6, I end up with negative 2 equals my b. 
so that my final answer when I'm rewriting it, I only care about the M and the B. So it's going to be Y equals M, which it tells me my slope is 2, X minus 2. So then if I wanted to graph that, I would be going down 2, <coughs> um, and then to the right, or uh, and then, so going down 2 on my y-intercept, and then my slope would be 2 over 1. Let's do one more like that to kind of see what, how, how it's going to look total. So it has a slope of 8, and then my two points are 1 and negative 3. So same thing, still using y equals mx plus b. So instead of y, it looks like my y is a negative 1. My slope, it tells me, tells me was 8. And my x is 3. And I know negative, or I know 8 times 3 is 24 plus b. So once I subtract 24 from both sides, I know I'm going to have negative 25 equals b. So then my final answer, step 2, write it in the equation. y equals, and my slope for this one was 8. And now I figured out my y-intercept was negative 25. So a little math before we can graph some of them. So half the homework will look like those first couple problems where we're just graphing whatever it tells me. Um, the other part of the homework, we're going to have to do some work um, in order to find our y-intercept. That y-intercept is important because it tells us where we're starting at. So a little bit of more work on that second half of the homework.